What's cracking everybody? Zerafel Rose with Maggie here once again, bringing you some Pokemon Go Battle League content. Today's video, we've got an awesome shoutcast in the Psychic Cup from fellow trainer and friend Edwards5868. Thank you so much for submitting these battles with Metacham in the Psychic Cup of all things. Fairies, poisons, it's all here. But this lad is rocking Metacham and doing well with it. So let's take a look at these battles. And my dear trainer friends, if you would like to submit some battles to the channel for shoutcasting, there is a link to a Google form in the description. Please check it out and fill it out and send it in. And with that, we're going to play the battles. Let's go. All right, let's see how these go. So we've got the first opponent here with... He's got, by the way, Rockin' Glaring Slowbro. This is before the calm day. So if you have the... Uh, ability to play this team or if you'd like to play this team definitely run it with uh, probably surf and sludge bomb uh focus blast is definitely nice but i don't think it's as necessary and i think surf would probably just do better so opponent is gonna safe swap into their clay doll after seeing the damage that the celebi is taking from the poison jabs and they're gonna bring in and Trainer's going to bring in Malamar as a response to throw foul plays at the Claydol. And Claydol is not going to appreciate taking another foul play. So they're going to shield up in an attempt to win Switch. I don't know if they're going to be able to make it. Malamar only needing five Psycho Cuts to get to a foul play. Fires off another one. Opponent shields once again. They're hoping to get Switch here. And Edwards5868 is going to give it to them. The Earth Power comes through. Probably would have been... Well, actually, not necessarily true. You could have definitely been okay. <laughs> I can't speak. Been okay not to have Switch here because Metacham has Ice Punch. And you are now a parrot. Would you like to sit on my shoulder? That's a parrot. There you go. Yep, there you go. That is your new vantage point, little parrot. You want a cracker? You weirdo. So Victini is going to mean its demise by way of a sludge bomb, I believe. I wasn't looking because I have a certain somebody in my lap. Playdoll is going to come back in and is going to eat this resisted sludge bomb, but this is going to be more than enough to take it out at the low HP that it's at. What are you doing? And then the Galarian Slowbro is locked in on the Celebi, and Celebi is going to have to go for a seed bomb, and that is not even going to come close to being enough. And Edwards takes out his Metacham to show that he has it, and he's going to go for the Ice Punch to seal this game, and you are being... Being a butthead. Stay still, you goof. All right, and that's going to be for the first game. So getting into the next game, we've got Slowbro in the lead versus Bruxish. This is not a great lead for Slowbro. Um, I like the, the back line here with the Bruxish meta because basically Bruxish does really, really badly against things that Bite does neutral to. So Metacham and Malamar being two of those things, this is a really terrible matchup for the Bruxish. One foul play will literally KO the Bruxish at this point. So they're going to have to commit both shields at this point you're going to assume that they don't have an answer to malamar in the back or they just have a better answer for Slowbro. maybe they have a clay doll in the back and they're preserving it what are you doing you goofy <sighs> you fellow parents out there will understand completely all right so metacham is going to come in even though it's resisted damage the um the damage that the metacham is doing is still plenty and aqua tail is not going to do much to the very thick metacham and a dynamic punch is coming through the stab resisted dynamic punch coming in going to take out the bruxes we're going to see what's in the back it's a metagross the opponent did not want to bring this in against the malamar they wanted to keep that for the slow bro, but they were not able to do so metacham with a dynamic punch is going to ko the metagross and then a bronzong is going to come in and i'm going to play the button <laughs> Just because, and you know what? He's tapping for it. He's going for, he's going for the focus blast. Maggie, he's going for the focus blast. Look at your mouth open. Like, ooh, look what's going on from here. Focus blast getting charged up. Slowbro is going to slap it. This bell sideways. Ding dong. Going to get that. Bro is going to get that bronzong very low with that focus blast and the sludge bomb is going to come through to KO. Man, I would never be allowed to play Pokemon event because I can't speak straight for more than three seconds, man. He's <laughs> going into the next game here. It's still fun to do nonetheless. Shadow Latios on the lead. Some spice from this battler. They're coming in with a Bronzong. Malamar immediately comes in to deal with this Bronzong. So foul play is going to easily do plenty of damage. I think I may have actually brought in the Metacham here just because I know that those counters are going to end up doing neutral damage. Um, makes it less dependent on the Malamar to shield here. Uh, it would be you know less dependent on the Metacham, I suppose, to shield anyway. Um, foul play number two is going to come through, 
and easily winning any shielding scenario the opponent just lets it go rapid dash and rapid yeah i think you're so loud the mic didn't catch try again rapid dash is going to get the farm down here have some energy against the ra uh, against the slow bro but slow bro is going to be able to rip this pony in two with these poison jabs look at it go it's just just gone and then all the opponent has left is this Latios, which is not going to appreciate doing, I think, Resisted Charms or is this Dragon Breath? I can't tell. Uh, but the Sludge Bomb is going to get the shield here. No, they're doing Dragon Breath. That's going to add up real fast. But the thing with Latios is that it's also not super bulky. I believe Latias is the bulky one. So Latios has Dragon Claw, which is nice. Uh, but Metacham is going to come in and is just going to be able to counter down, throw an Ice Punch at the Dragon and going to take him out. And that's going to be it for this game. Getting for that. Uh, didn't even go for the ice punch. Just going for the fast move down. Save a little bit of time there. Well played. So we've got Slowbro on the lead again versus another Bruxish. We're going to see that safe swap for the Malamar come out. Most likely there we are yet again. And the opponent is staying in. And then they are going to come in with their Rapid Ash after building up some energy. Not a bad call here actually farming up because the Psycho Cuts do almost no damage. And then um, opponent is going to shield up the first foul play. Now honestly if I were playing this team uh, I would also probably throw Hyper Beam on the Malamar. Just because Super Power probably doesn't have as much play here. Given that foul play kind of does the same thing just without the debuffs. You're weird. You're also really cute. Uh, not going to be able to make it to that next move, unfortunately. But that just means that Slowbro is going to be able to come in and punish this pony with these poison jabs. Going to farm once just in case it's a Mega Horn. And the opponent is going to go for a Body Slam bait, which means they are not going to live that next fast move. Metacham is going to come in and Metacham against Bronzong is a pretty good matchup. Because we're running Dynamic Punch on this Metacham. This is going to do... Plenty of damage, and I am on the receiving end of this as well because I have played the other side of this when I was trying out some teams in Psychic Cup. By the way, I had a horrible time in Psychic Cup, so that's why I didn't have any videos on it myself this week. But happy to shoutcast another trainer doing super well in the cup. Very happy to do so always. Um, <clears throat> just Bruxish coming in just made it so RPS that I just couldn't, I couldn't fathom having a good time in there anymore. So it's all right, though. Opponent's Bruxish is going to fire off a move. This is probably just an Aqua Tail. Um, no, it's Psychic Fang's looking to increase the damage of this uh, Bruxish's Bite, but the Ice Punch is going to come through from the Meta Jam. Honestly, this is probably enough. The Shield is going to come up, and all they have to do now is Poison Jab down, and that's a good game. Well played. I'll get the timing now. I got the timing of the transition now. Big Teeny on the lead. This is not super great. Completely walls the... Uh, the Metacham's move set. So correctly has to stay in here, throw the Sludge Bomb, and this will still do quite a bit of damage. Now, unfortunately, there's no Surf on this slow bro. So getting a shield here and then coming into Malamar and deciding to no shield the V create, smart move here. Malamar just needs to be able to do some damage with its charge moves, and it's going to be able to easily get to at least one or two. And the opponent's going to fire off double V create to force a shield and stay in to take this foul play which is definitely not a good idea and now the opponent by the way they did so much damage from <laughs> on that big teeny i'm sure and if this lands i'm gonna hit it again because this foul play is gonna get shielded by the bruxish and in comes metacham to hit this bruxish and this is why metacham is a smart pick in this meta because of bruxish the fact that bruxish just does bite damage is if you have things that resist the um dark damage or do neutral, I guess, in this cup. That from that dark damage, you're in a good spot. And the reason why Slowbro is in the lead because that gives this team duality against the fairies, which are everywhere. Which is really smart, in my opinion. I think that was a very well thought out idea here by this trainer Edwards five eight six eight, and he's going to go for the focus blast again on this bell. And I guarantee you, this is going to land. I, I have to. I got the button ready. Let's do it. Let's go. Lands. Don't even care if it doesn't take out the Bronzong. That's enough damage, and I'm not going to get any other booms from much in this cup just because nothing really seems to one shot anything particularly unless you got like sludge bomb into a fairy those are always fun uh bruxish is just going to come in and eat dirt and that's going to be a good game well played that's it all right we got a bronze on lead this is actually really bad so we're probably going to see this trainer switch into the malamar as usual and going to try to fire off that foul play right away nope he waits one more just in case the opponent tries to catch on the swap here and it does not so foul play is going to land on the bronze on and now the opponent's going to swap out into their own malamar and the foul plays are going to start flying between these two malamars now unfortunately 
the Malamar on the opponent's end has a little bit more HP, which means they cannot they can tank two foul plays, whereas Edwards' uh, Malamar is so low now that it will not be able to tank two. So that is unfortunate, but thankfully able to get the second one off. No CMP to deal with here, and Slowbro should easily be able to come in and deal some damage here. Maybe even bring the Metacham in here. Now we able to win CMP. The opponent makes a terrible mistake and does not fire off before this Malamar gets to the move. So they are now in have almost no HP to let this Malamar live with. And I don't think they get to another foul play in time before if they have Metacham. No, they do not have Metacham. They're going to have the Slowbro come in and poison jab down this, this Malamar. <coughs> And then the Bronzong is most certainly going to come back in. Metacham is going to come in and it's going to get met by a Victini. This is not looking good from Edwards' team here, unfortunately. This Victini is definitely going to be able to get to a move. But if they throw, they threw the Psychic. Okay, I was going to say, if they throw the V-Create, then that's that's not good. But they throw this, uh, they throw the Psychic, which means that they're still going to be able to be undebuffed here. The... Uh, this this metacham has its work cut out for it but if it can get the last shield nope he's going to rely on slow bro to come in knowing that that was a v create the defense has gone down that means that this victini is not getting to another move and now we can easily get to two sludge bombs here before this bronzong gets to two moves because of the energy gained throughout the battle sludge bomb number one is going to hit this bronzong and i think we just go for the focus blast at this point because i think that bronzong has way way too little energy gain from faint attack that it uses so just oh mate just go for the focus blast i get i get going for the sludge bomb it's just that it's double resisted i don't know if it does enough damage nope doesn't do quite enough but the poison jab afterward does and that is a good game oh that was a close one well played man slow bro into gardevoir you'll love to see it this opponent will instantly swap into something else that's going to be the victini and malamar is going to come in now if this malamar is i don't know the ivs in this team but if this Malamar is raid or raid or hatch or research IVs, um, it can actually win this matchup. But the opponent's Victini actually decides to no shield the foul play, which given that they're going to throw V creates makes sense. However, with the debuff defense now, I think that even these psycho cuts will be enough to take out before the opponent's quick attacks can take out. And indeed they do. The Malamar hangs on with just a sliver of HP, but has a shield down, but loaded energy. And that is gonna mean that whatever comes in is gonna have to deal with this foul play and is probably gonna shield. The Claydol comes in and had the opponent just one switch advantage there, they would have been in an absolutely ideal position, having the Guard of War on the Metacham and having the Clay on the Slowbro, but unfortunately, due to alignment, this by itself is just going to be a good game. I don't think the opponent can really do anything here. Edwards is going to safely shield this up, doesn't need to worry about the Guard of War. If it swaps in, the Guard of War is just going to get met with Poison Jabs and isn't even going to get to a charge move before these Poison Jabs take it out. Look at it, just deleted. Deleted. Guard of War just got deleted. Okay, bye. That's fine, that was the last battle anyway, so I guess if you don't want to hang around. What are you doing? Goofy. Sludge Bomb's gonna KO this Clay Doll, and that's gonna be a good game. Well played, made great games. Great games. Wonderful submission. Thank you so much again, Edwards5868, for the submission. I had to say, when he told me he was running Metacham in the Psychic Cup, I thought he was nuts. And now, you know what? I believe I think that that was a really solid call, despite that, you know, seeing a lot of fairies and things, I think that Metacham is still super bulky, super consistent, has good moves to deal good damage, and even in resisted matchups like with Victini, still does okay. Sets up nice farm downs, which is really ideal really ideal for this cup so that's going to be it for me from psychic cup tomorrow you guys are going to get a really cracked ultra league team and then on wednesday we're looking at the mountain cup so please stay tuned to the channel hit subscribe if you haven't already click that bell for notifications if you're interested in that kind of thing hit the like because it helps me a lot and um i know i don't really like showing it she's laughing at something else but she might as well be laughing at me for making these stupid things to show my channel so y'all have a good one we'll talk to you next time catch you later Bye bye